welcome you again in the classes of evs academy in the last class we have completed the our unit that was going on right now we have to start the new unit the new unit here that we are going to start now is the energy and environment are the fourth unit fourth unit we will do after this unit maybe uh, for now being i'm just switching to this unit energy and environment but don't worry everything will be covered by all the classes maybe the sequence can be different here so today we have to start the chapter that is energy and environment if you look at this particular unit the number of questions average number of questions again you will find out it is ranging uh, from 5 to 10 and maximum 10 number of questions you can see from this energy and environment unit alone so again a very important unit and the perspective of clearing net as well as jrf in the paper 2 section of this ugc net examination the another thing i would like to share with you before starting this particular chapter that is that in this particular unit the things are kind of mixed things the few portion of theory we have to cover the concept we have to cover and the very large portion of numerical questions we have to cover if you look at the past trend of the papers or the questions from this particular unit you can find out there are majority of the questions from the numerical value only from the numerical section only so to covering the numerical aspect of this particular chapter is very very important so i will suggest you one by one we will cover all the energy types their theory and concept and then after that we will jump to the numerical questions of that particular energy so i will suggest you that when you complete this unit make a formula chart for all the energy and remember those formulas because whenever you found any question from this particular unit from any kind of energy the first thing or the last thing you will require that will be the formula of that type of energy i will tell you the derivation of the some uh, part of the energy formulas here but again i will repeat you the derivation is not that much important that is for your own understanding the main thing or key thing that will be required to solve the numerical questions will be your particular formula of that energy maybe it is the question can be from nuclear energy maybe from tidal energy maybe wave energy wind energy anything is possible there and the every type of energy is having its own type of formula formula of calculating efficiency formula of cal calculating maybe energy formula of maybe calculating power in some energy you can only calculate power in some energy you can calculate both in some kind of energy you can only calculate energy so all the things are important here and remember that after completing this unit you will be able to solve all the numerical questions all the numerical questions majority of them easily with the help of these formulas which we are going to cover in this particular unit so don't worry about that complete all the energies one by one and make a chart of formula of all the different types of energy and remember that formula only you will be able to solve the questions what you have to do you have to just take the formula you have to put the values and the one thing which is missing in the question or which is asked in the question easily you will get your answer so that is the trick of this particular unit again i will repeat you the 80 post at 80 percent portion of this particular unit is almost numerical and the remaining 20 percent is the concept and theory that you have to remember so be prepared for that don't upgrade with the numericals. You, if you remember the formula, easily you can solve it. So with this particular quote, I'm starting this unit. So here, what we have to cover in this particular unit, the all chart you can see here. The energy, what is energy? First, I would like to discuss. So energy in physics, this is the capacity of doing work. If you have the capacity of doing more and more work, so you will be considered as a high energy person. That is in the daily life. Similarly, in the concept of physics also, if with the help of any particular type of energy, if you do more and more work, we will say that that is having the higher energy. And if, if you can do very less work, so it is related to the lower energy. Then the energy can be exist in many types like potential energy, kinetic energy, thermal energy, electrical energy, chemical, nuclear, or the other various forms. So now the energy cannot be destroyed and cannot be created that you all know. So similarly here in this energy you can convert this energy to any other kind of energy maybe you can convert the potential to kinetic potential to thermal potential to electrical but always 
there would be conversion. You cannot create as well as you cannot destroy the energy. That is the law of thermodynamics. Adele, that we will see in the very detail when we look at the chapter thermodynamics that right? we will cover in the miscellaneous topics at the end. Few units like remote sensing and then we have the, this earthquake or the natural hazards. Then we have thermodynamics. These all are the miscellaneous topics that we will cover in bulk at the last of the completion of this particular course. So don't worry about that. We will see in the latter part of that. But for now, we just understand that what is energy? Energy is the capacity of doing work by any person, maybe any machine, maybe any value of energy. So higher would be the working capacity, higher would be the energy. Lower would be the working capacity, lower would be the energy. So that is all about the definition of the energy. Now, what we have to study in this particular unit? So we will be basically covering all type of energies which are related to the environment or which are environmental friendly, you would say. Here we are not talking about the kinetic potential and all that energy. What we will discuss here, the types of energy that you can harness from the help of environment or with the help of environment and which are mostly environmental friendly. So all those type of energies that we have to discuss here. What are those energies? The wind energy we have to discuss. Then we will start the tidal energy. Then we will see the hydropower energy. Hydropower energy means the dams. The dams you can see, and it is having the huge amount of stored water. And with the help of that stored water, the turbine you can run. So that is the hydropower energy. Then we will discuss the solar energy, then wave energy, wave, wave which are created in the oceans. So how you can create electricity with the waves which are present in the ocean. That would be the wave energy. Tides and waves are different. Do not confuse both of them. And the calculation of the energy is also different in both the types. What are the tides? Tides are basically, generally you have heard that there is a high tide and there is a low tide. So these are the situation. These are the situations of the oceans. So in the case of low tide, the water level will go down. In the situation of the high tide, the water level will go up. And these tides come frequently during the daytime, during the night time, in the ocean source or in the coastal areas of the ocean so suppose this is the ocean you have right now this is the land surface suppose this area is so this zone would be your tidal zone and during some part of the day the water will go up to this point and at some part of the day when there would be low tide water will go to the this level so this happens due to the gravitational pull of the moon always remember that because moon is also revolving the earth and it will create some kind of gravitational pull on the ocean so when there would be moon on this side the ocean will come to the high tide side and when there would be moon go to the other side there would be creation of the low tide that is the tidal energy or tidal creation tide creation waves waves are different waves are created due to the maybe the multiple effects the effect of gravitational pull by the moon then we have the our own coriolis force or the rotational effect all these are creating waves continuously waves in the ocean that you can see the waves will come and go down again again and again so that is not tight, that is a kind of wave, which frequently comes multiple times during a time frame, maybe in one minute, maybe in one hour period, multiple waves you can see. So that is the, that is the wave energy, while the tides, tides you can only see two high tide situation, two low tide situation during the 24 hour cycle. So two tidal cycle you can see total in 24 hours. It means one tidal cycle is created or completed in 12 hour period. In 12 hours, there would be one high tide, low tide. So similarly, during the whole day or during the 24 hour period, there would be two high tides, two low tides. And this cycle, tidal cycle would be two tidal cycle because in one uh, 12 hour of time frame, you can see the one tidal cycle completed. In 24 hour, you will see two total tidal cycle completed. So that is the tidal energy and this is wave energy. Both are different. Do not confuse both of them. That is about the wave energy then coming back to our different type of energy that next energy that we have to discuss is the magneto hydrodynamics so as you can see this is made up of the magnet then we have the hydro it means some kind of liquid we have to use and then dynamics and then with the help of motion of the magnet and the liquid hydro you can create electricity or you can create another form of energy. So that how you can do that we will see in the magneto hydrodynamics. So again, there would be no harmful effect here. Magnet you can use, the liquid you can use again and again. 
so with the help of motion of that you can create energy so that is magneto hydrodynamics then we have the ocean's energy so you can see that the ocean is also not stable it is not creating this kind of water surface this is creating such a kind of wavy water surface on the surface of the ocean so here you can see the ocean is going some time up again it is going some time down so that up and down motion that you can see here through the help of that you can create again electricity what you can do you can generate something here you can attach something here which is attached to something and here this is attached to the generator so what you will do this will go up and down with the oceans with the help of ocean so that is again a kind of energy another type of ocean energy is very common that is the temperature difference energy that we have to discuss mainly here in the ocean energy what it means whenever there would be sunlight available so during the sunlight or high sunlight the sun rays will come and it will fall on the ocean surface so now what will the scenario here this upper surface is facing the high sunlight scenario while after some depth there is no sunlight available so this lower portion of the ocean is not facing any kind of sunlight also it is not in contact with the air which is present here so this air and sunlight continuously warming up the ocean so what will this scenario here this upper surface temperature would be high as compared to the lower surface temperature and this will create temperature gradient which is called as delta t and with the help of once you created the temperature gradient then you can use this warm water for creating any kind of energy and then after creating that energy you will send that water into the below ocean again that would be cooled down so this kind of cyclic movement you can run here from the cold water to warm water warm water to cold water and due to the availability of sunlight and due to the availability of the wind continuously you can generate electricity so that is again kind of ocean energy and ocean energy is based on the temperature difference in detail we will see the ocean energy after completing the magneto hydrodynamics then we have the geothermal energy so here you have seen the scenario of the ocean so similar scenario you can find out on the below the earth surface as you move down we have already seen in the unit 1 the temperature will increase right how much 2.5 to 3 degrees celsius per 100 meter you can say or 25 to 30 degrees celsius per kilometer the temperature rise will be around 25 degree so here you can see again in depth there is a high temperature and in the surface there is a low temperature so what you can do again you can create a circular motion here you can send the liquid to warm and again this liquid will go to the downside and again this is warmed up by the surrounding here and when this liquid will come this is now heated up so with the help of this heated liquid again you will create energy here and again you will send that liquid to the outer part and again this would be cooled down and again this type of cycle you can continue and based on the temperature difference of the surface and the depth of the earth you can create energy here which is called as the geothermal energy so this geothermal energy also we will see so here the temperature uh, difference is used in the both concept you can see in the ocean as well as in the geothermal energy so the formula that you can use to to just calculate the efficiency calculate the energy can be similar here so based on the concept the formula of two different types of energy can be same so that you have to also keep in mind because the working principle of both energy model is same the only difference is this energy is coming from the sunlight in the case of ocean energy and the energy is coming from the below surface or due to the geothermal gradient in the case of geothermal energy so that we will be uh, that we will discuss or see in very detail when we reach to that particular energy and the very last energy that you all know that is the nuclear energy that we will discuss in the last of this chapter so nuclear fusion reaction and nuclear fusion reaction both we will see in very detail in the nuclear energy so fission means the converting of one nuclear particle into different nuclear small particles and fusion means the combining two different nuclei and creating one larger nuclei that is fusion and this is called fission so in this fission and fusion reaction how much energy or how much amount of energy you can create what are the materials you can use which is a natural process which is artificial process that all you will see in very detail including the numerical problems of the nuclear energy 
and the last of this particular thing. So this is the diagram or the flow you can say for the whole this chapter energy and environment. So these all energies we have to discuss here. These are not based on any fissile fuel or anything. So these are kind of non-conventional type of energy. And in the non-conventional also, what type of energy? Renewable type of energy we have to discuss here. Renewable means which you can create again and again. This is not going to be finished in the near future. Uh, as like not as not like the petrol, diesel, or the petroleum things or the coal we have. Ultimately, at some point, they are going to finish or they are going to be exhausted by the human beings. So those type of energy we don't have to discuss here. Only renewable type of energy we will discuss here. So I hope that is all clear to you what is about this particular unit is.